NanoCAD uses the DWG file format, which means it's compatible with drawings from many other CAD programs. Here, for example, is a drawing made in AutoCAD way back in 1998. NanoCAD is able to open it, display it, and edit it. But a quirk in the DWG format means it can hold entities that only one particular CAD program can recognize and not others. These are sometimes known as proxy entities. Sometimes when you open a drawing, it may look a little unusual to you. For example, these windows have no see-through glass in them. And when you select them, you can see that it's defined as a proxy entity. This is an entity that was defined specially in another CAD program. And now a proxy or a substitute image is being displayed. When we come over to the properties bar, we see that the proxy type is called AEC window. So we know that it's a window. And AEC gives you a hint that this was created in architectural program. There's very little you can do with a proxy object other than look at it. You can, for example, change the layer it's on and change its color. When you open a drawing and it appears that elements are missing, it could be because they're on a frozen layer, or it could be because it contains invisible proxy entities. To check, press Ctrl A to select all the entities, and then come over to the properties bar and search for proxy entity. To reveal them, enter in the proxy show variable. And it takes three values, 0, which hides proxy entities, or 1, which displays them. After ending the proxy show command, enter the regen command to regenerate the drawing. And there you go. There's the missing entities. And all of these are proxies, which means they were created in another CAD program, but cannot be edited or created in NanoCAD. The proxy show command has a third option. If you enter in the number 2, and then enter regen, it displays the proxy objects as rectangles. That can make it easy to see where the proxy objects are, but they don't overwhelm the drawing.